Negotiations with the neighborhood are ongoing. Multnomah County has been at the table with uh, members of uh, the Good Neighborhood uh, Agreement Committee. Multnomah County is still committed to working with the Buckman Neighborhood Association, even as its deflection center officially opens its doors. The center is a place for police to bring people who are caught with hard drugs who qualify to deflect to treatment instead of charges. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us for KT News at 4. I'm Deborah Knapp. And I'm Rick Asway. A judge ruled Friday to allow the center to open despite a pending lawsuit. KT News' Christina Giardinelli is live now outside the center where she spent most of the day. Christina, not much activity out there? Devin, right, that's right. There hasn't been much activity here. It's been a quiet day in the nearly eight hours that we've spent watching here. We haven't seen a single drop out, now, uh, drop in um, by police. Now, the county has estimated between four to ten clients a day, and that's based on the mobile deflection numbers that's collected over the past month. Multnomah County opened its deflection center Monday as it continues to negotiate with the Buckman Neighborhood Association over a good neighborhood agreement. County spokesperson Ryan Yambra telling K2 just days before the opening that ongoing operations would not impact the county's commitment to working with neighbors. The neighborhood is going to see what what it looks like uh, when we open. Um, you know, the, the county has been preparing for, uh, for some time now, uh, making sure that it's a smooth transition. How often are you guys meeting? Uh, it, it, lately it's been weekly, but uh, that can change depending on, you know, just what, what the neighborhood is asking for. What are the major sticking points right now? The neighbors want to know uh, that the that there's going to be a security plan in place. They want to feel like uh, their questions are answered. Um, you know, transportation is always a question of, uh, you know, how, how are we going to ensure that people get to their next destination. The county faces a lawsuit from Escuela Viva, a preschool down the street from the center. The school has repeatedly asked for mandatory transportation for clients leaving the center. Neighbors have also worried about the center's security plan. Dorothy Elmore, workplace security director, says the security plan was built on lessons learned from the county's Behavioral Health Resource Center. The lessons that were learned is that security is needed, security is required, um, and that there are some things that we can uh, adapt to. There is a certain type of security officer that is needed in the, to be effective in that milieu, that we need to be really strong partners with the not only the community, the business community, and with the contractors who are managing that program. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it has been a quiet day here around the neighborhood. We haven't seen a lot of activity, but we'll be paying close attention and bringing you the latest information as it comes in. For now, live in Southeast Portland, Cristina Giardinelli, K2 News. Cristina, thank you.